All right, so I owe you guys an apology. I've not been posting as much as I like lately. Um, that the reason is because I actually sprained my finger. Um, supposed to be wearing something, but I'm not. So it that's kind of limiting me to do stuff. And also, I have been trying, guys. Like, it's not like I've been just sitting back and doing nothing. I've been trying to actually go out and film videos. They just haven't been working. I've been going ice fishing almost three times, probably three times every week and stuff. I have only caught one thing, this yellow perch. Um, but other than that, I've caught nothing. And I've tried other things. Like, I just don't feel like it just fits in and stuff. And it's not, a like, a video just worth to put out. And also skiing i can't go a lot and i've i've gone and took videos a couple of times but it just hasn't worked out so like it just either it hasn't worked out or i just didn't like how the video turned out all right so i'm gonna do a little catch up here and i thought it'd be a perfect way to do that by i'll tie a fly for you guys it's been a little while so yeah <laughs> it's been a little while actually <clears throat> today i'm gonna be showing you how to make a zebra midge fly so this is one of my favorite flies to um, make because it is, just, I don't know why, it just is, it's fun to make. So I'm going to start off with a little size 10. It's kind of like a, I don't know what, what it's called, but it's like a, it has like a bend shape to it. <clears throat> I like this shape the best because I feel like it gives it the best profile. This is supposed to imitate a little bug in the water. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take a little bead, um, like a weighted bead right there and I am just gonna put this up at the top of the hook just like this and it's gonna act as a weight and it's gonna act as the head of the fly you can use any color my two favorite my three favorite colors are red black and blue but i recommend black but I, I think it has just the most natural profile so i'm gonna use some black th thread this um could be a thicker thread actually so i'm gonna start right above below my right up below my bead and just lock this fly in cut there we go Okay, perfect. Now, one once you have done that, you're going to want to go back and wrap back up to the head. And then once you've done that, you are just going to want to go down about two-thirds the way down until it really starts bending right about there. And then you're going to want to wrap back up. What this is doing is this is making the top part thicker than the bottom part. And once you've done that, you wrap back right up until once you, what, what you just wrapped to. And then you're going to want to take your metal wiring right here. There, what this is actually pretty cool. I didn't actually have regular metal wiring. Remember, this doesn't need to be lead wiring though, because you've already got your weight, um, weighted bead here. I just de-haired like a pipe cleaner, and it. I mean, that's the thing that I love about fly um tying that you can just make your own things, and you are gonna want to wrap your metal wiring down, and go down until where you actually want to. like about um, where your body is gonna end. So I'd say right about there. Then I left a little bit extra. I'm just gonna snap that off. Don't use a good pair of scissors. I'm just using a dull pair of scissors um, because that can just ruin them up. Now you don't wanna wrap around too much back there cause then that's gonna make that part of the body um that's gonna make that part of the body thick and you don't want it you want the top to be thick now you're just gonna want to go back and build your body so make just wrap around a lot up near the head and go down and then kind of, once you've reached there just you're gonna kind of want to go back up this is a perfect time to talk about what my plans are so remember my sugarloaf video and how we just basically couldn't go because we got rained out well there's good news 
we are going on March 4th up to Sugarloaf again. Um, we're going to ski two days and we're going to stay three nights. So then we have, we, I have some extra time to do something other than skiing. So that's where I'm going to go see if I, so we're going to do hiking videos. I'm going to see if I can catch some fish in, in the, the rivers that are there. Cause there's a lot of rivers that are just filled with trout and I'd love to catch some trout. That would be amazing. Um, so don't worry. And I'm going to try to pack in as many videos as I can. Um, during then so i'm sorry guys for the lack of uploads but i promise if you just hang on there more is coming and yes so you can see that this top part is more thicker than this bottom part up here that's exactly what you want now i'm kind of just finishing it off make it making it look nice and smooth and finished there we go. I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna. I th I didn't think I went down a. I didn't go down quite enough, so I'm just gonna go down a little bit more. This is all. This will also make the bottom part even more skinny. Perfect. There we go. Can you guys see that? Gets skinnier as it goes down now we have this locked in place we're gonna want to wrap this around the body make sure the wraps are even so it looks as natural as possible make sure to really push that end bit into the body so you can wrap it down nicely just like that perfect and that is where i'm going to come in with my head cement and i'm just going to finish this off get that all locked up and my little secret here is i like to actually um brush over this whole body not just for making this all locked in nice and sturdy but it actually gives it a little bit of a gloss and shine so all right after you waited a few seconds for that to dry off go ahead and snap that and just like that you're brand new there you go a little bit of a better angle. Well, guys, I'm stocking up on different flies because hopefully I'm going to be able to go trout fishing this summer and go up to Maine. And I'm going to try to catch some trout on my own flies. That would be amazing. Yeah, I'm so sorry, guys, for the lack of upload. More is coming soon, so just hang on there. I appreciate all you guys who are subscribed, all you guys who comment down below, all you guys who just like share it means so much to me i just love to see this and i don't know it just motivates me to keep going you know i wasn't even gonna make this video but i was just scrolling through i was like you know what i have to put something out there you guys all deserve it thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time